quick RIP to these bookshelves because they're done. They're done. We're done with them. We are going to be completely and utterly reorganizing the bookshelves today. <sighs> Am I mentally prepared for this? I'm gonna be honest, no. But I do have a lot of books laying on my on the ground, so many scattered throughout my room. While the color coordinated shelves look so aesthetic and so amazing, okay? They are extremely, extremely annoying to just put up with. Like for example, I have so many books on the ground from doing a video with all of them and to have to put them all up is just a pain. It's a genuine pain. So we are going to completely and utterly reorganize all of the shelves today and we're saying goodbye we're saying goodbye to the color coordinated shelves who knows if they could make a reappearance but i am just ready to uh, kind of just organize them in a different way do i know what way i'm going to organize them no i don't um we're just going to kind of roll with it i'm probably going to change them ten thousand other times that's fine with me Okay, so how I think I'm gonna remove them off the shelf is I'm gonna remove them by category. So we're gonna go literary fiction, adult fantasy, young adult fantasy, uh, dark romance, romance, and then categorize your romance like young adult romance, or maybe they're just Christmas books, or maybe, you know, they're just hockey romances, maybe they're just sport romances, like uh, put them in by author, that's how I'm going to do it. But first of all, I'm just going to take all of the books off of the shelf and then start piles. Yeah, so I am going to hang my floating shelves that used to be over where my shoe wall is. I'm going to hang those over by my window seat. We're going to put some books over there and uh, kind of figure out what I'm doing. Because I don't know. I'm kind of just winging it. So let's get into it. Let's start taking books off the shelf, except we won't be taking any books off of the shelf because those are all books that are on the TBR. Those are no books that I've read yet, so we're not going to do that, but we're going to take them off of the shelf. Okay, guys, I wanted to take a brief intermission in today's video to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is EveryPlate. If you guys are looking to cut down on your food expenses, then EveryPlate is definitely the place that you need to go to. You can get more bang for your bite with America's Best Value Meal Kit. EveryPlate is 25% cheaper than grocery shopping, and you can count on a great value with every single meal. One of the things that I love most about EveryPlate is just how simple, easy, and fast everything is. It's all proportioned that way that you can get straight to cooking, and you can literally make meals in 15 minutes or less and you can customize all every plate meals to your liking you can swap all proteins and side options to whoever fits your lifestyle every plate also delivers a variety within their options with 25 easy and affordable recipes to choose from each week which makes it super easy to find options for everyone when i make every plate meals it is a super simple and easy way for me to start learning how to cook meals that i actually like to eat i am just now getting into actually learning how to cook so it's still a learning curve for me and so that within itself provides moments for me and my mom to do something and bond over because there are still things that she has to help me with in the kitchen so it's a nice thing for me and her to do alongside each other and it is just helping me find meals and different recipes that I actually like to eat and that taste really good and that are different from you know your day-to-day -day recipes but my absolute favorite thing about every plate is just how absolutely affordable they are with such amazing options and the quality of the food is great as well as the meals are so good and you can see the first bite of me eating this I was literally so pleasantly surprised at when I tasted this recipe it was a new recipe for me and I'm always a little bit you know iffy going into new foods but this was genuinely so good me and my mom could not stop talking about how good it was and how we wanted to keep on making this recipe and that wouldn't have happened if it was not for every plate you guys can get started with every plate for just one dollar and 49 cents per meal by going to everyplate.com and you guys can enter the code destiny said well 149 in all caps that is destiny said well 149 in all caps going to everyplate.com 
gmail.com. This is up to a $110 value. So you guys need to get that and do it soon because I love every plate. Thank you so much to every plate for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into the bookshelves. I mean we're down to business so right now I actually have all of the books like organized into stacks but I don't know yet like what I want to do with the shelves but I do know that I want this shelf right here to be dedicated fantasy shelf so I want this maybe these two top shelves to be my Sarah J Mass shelves maybe if we do this I'm definitely gonna have to play around with them too. see what I want to do okay like that do we like the way that that looks I like the way that that looks the problem is gonna be the throne of glass because I want to do this with the throne of glass because I really want to show off the covers for that oh yes slay I feel like this is gonna have to be how it is. That really breaks my heart. I have something I wanna do with this too. So I actually have like 10,000 copies of uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart. For this, I really wish I had the rest of the Caraval series because I feel like that would just look good there. What do I put with that? I feel like maybe just like random ones that I have. This announcement, this announcement is for those of you who comment and are like, oh my gosh, do a Harry Potter reading vlog, do a Harry, it's not happening until the fall time. I have to read the series in the fall when the leaves are orange and it's those vibes and I can have an apple cider. That's when you'll get this. I swear, literally once it hits September, October, probably September, I will read the Harry Potter books for the very first time. So you can be excited for that, but it's not happening until then. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of obsessed with this. Now I just wanna like stare at them, I really love this. I just wanted this to be like a dedicated fantasy. Now we have to move on to the other shelves. So I did separate these books into, <gasps> these books that you see right here, these are all my romance books. 
like count them and weep, I guess. And then I have like a YA pile, a thriller pile, a literary fiction pile, a dark romance pile, just like everything like that. So here's the thing. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this too. This is going over here, just walking. So everyone comment down below and say, thank you, David. Thank you, dad, um, because he just hung these shelves for me. And, and um, I know I asked him to hang so many things in my room that he's definitely sick and tired of me. But I got these to like put some of my favorite books on that are going in the corner. Like I have multiple copies of some of my favorite books, for example. I have the like old Some Kind of Perfect cover and I have another copy of A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Silver Flames. Like I have like two different copies of By a Thread by Lucy Score. So like any ones that are double that are my favorite, I'm putting them up here. And then just also some random ones that I wanna put up here. Uh, we're also gonna be hanging some more posters that I got from the Literary Loft. But if you guys see like my bookish posters, they're all from the Literary Loft. I absolutely love them because they are like subtle book posters. She releases some like every now and then and I just get so excited whenever I check her store and she has new prints available. I got two big posters. I got this one from Book Lovers. Welcome to Sunshine Falls. Inspiration behind the New York Times bestseller Once in a Lifetime Goods Lily Collin. Cottage, not college. And then the other big one is from Carrie Soto is back and it's just the comeback in Palm Tennis Club. You were not born that person. You were born to become that person. That is why you must be yourself every time you get on the court. Then we have another one from the book lovers and it's like the shark. See, it's like a little cocktail. This one that makes me wanna cry every time I see it. Both of the next ones, Fireheart. If you've read Throne of Glass, you would know, absolutely love. And then also this one. The lavender soap i can't i can't so i'm gonna figure out how i want the placements for these and then i'm gonna figure everything out from there fun fact actually because these used to be over where my sneaker wall is and if you know i actually put way too like i put way too many books on one shelf and it ripped out from my wall so then my dad had to fill that wall in and then i was like oh by the way can you hang some shelves on there and he literally is sick and tired of me i'm telling you but I'm going to figure out how I want the placement and then do that. So I just organized the shelf, well, the posters over there, and we'll get to that, those over there here in a second. But first of all, I did just put like all of my book of the month books down on that bottom shelf. But in this eyesight, like you have to think like in every single video you're kind of always seeing here, I wanna do the Addicted Callaway Sister series here. I just don't know what else to do with that. Like this doesn't take up a whole entire shelf. Oh, I don't know what to do with this shelf. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. See what I wanna do with it here in a sec. We're definitely gonna move into uh, romance books. So let me figure my life out.
Okay, guys, so my camera battery is literally dying because I have been doing this for a long time. But I kind of have the shelves set up the way I wanted them. Honestly, I really love this shelf because it kind of has like this thing going on. This shelf is kind of where we started losing <laughs> some of the organization a little bit. I feel like definitely these bottom two shelves are like where I just completely lost it. But then again, like I don't really know what to do. I feel like if I had one more of these shelves on this side but we're not gonna do that for today's video we're not gonna go all the way to ikea it's literally like eight o'clock at night we're not gonna go all the way to ikea to get new shelves i think i just may try to get another shelf and when i do do that i'm gonna like kind of reorganize them and spread them out a little bit because i like the way that this shelf looks but kind of the only things that i've left are um my physical tbr books so that's what I was going to use these two little ones for. And honestly, if it doesn't overflow as much as I think it's going to, then I'm probably going to move some of the like just regular literary fiction over to that shelf. But first of all, I do want to see kind of like what the physical TBR shelf looks like. So I kind of want to do that right now. That's what I'm going to do. Hello guys, welcome back to another clip. I actually don't remember what my last clip was. Also, if you hear dogs barking, which I know that you do, the neighbor's dog and my dog are having a little bark and match right now that they do every single day, multiple times a day. But we're gonna get into the actual tour of the bookshelf. I am so excited. I can't tell you how many times a year that I upload a video to do with my bookshelves because you know, you guys know, you guys watch my videos, you guys are readers, you know that like your bookshelves are such a sacred part of you and I feel like it shows the way that your brain works in a way of how they're organized and everything like that. So you guys are going to get a little snippet inside my brain. Forewarning, it's a little scary in there. First of all, I do want to show you guys the new and improved updated window seat area that I've been kind of picking and prodding with for a few months. So let's go over there to the window seat. major lighting change over here but we are now in the window seat area this is something that when i redid my room in september i really have been working on it i feel like since september to really love it and for it to be a really cozy area this wall has basically stayed the same it's looked like this since i've done it i just have three little posters right here and then a hanging plant this little heart mirror and then i recently started putting my book cart over here my book cart used to be where my bookshelves are but i just thought that it looked better over here and i do a lot of reading right here so it's easy just to reach for the book cart but then i had my dad rehang my uh, floating shelves from ikea because i did my shoe wall over there so i have this one and these are just all of my non-fiction books that i will these are basically all the nonfiction books that I own, so I thought I would just put them over here. This is the area that is new and improved. So these got three floating shelves over here, and then I ordered some more posters from the Literary Loft. We've already talked about these. These, I put all my Taylor Jenkins read books right here because I felt like, you know, she just deserved a spot, and this poster is right here, so I thought that that went well. Up here, these are just two books that I had, like, double copies of so it's by a thread and some kind of perfect um from the addicted series well by a thread by lucy score and then some kind of perfect from the addicted series and then up here i just have uh the extra copy of a quarter silver flames and akamoth that i have but that is basically it for this area so let's move on to the bookshelves because that's what got the most redoneness but i absolutely love the little wall seat area no window seat area um but yeah now let's talk about the new and improved bookshelf Woo! 
okay. I'm so excited, you guys don't understand. I have been picking and prodding with these shelves for about four days now. And usually, like when I went into this, I thought, oh, like I'll just reorganize them because I already kind of had an idea. But then you never know until you start putting books on the shelf and you start, you know, getting in it. But all of these books are organized in a very specific way. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? I think we shall. Just some few little minor changes. I put these hanging plants that were over by my vanity. I put them over here because it was really clashing with the shoe wall and I thought that it just looked really good over here. I eventually want to get some more plants and greenery to even put on the bookshelves to make it very um, cozy because I feel like having a lot of plants makes something look cozy. That will eventually come, but for right now, we just have this and then I have my chair with just this knit blanket from Target. So let's go through each and every individual shelf. We're gonna start with my TBR shelf. So this is my TBR shelf right here. Basically it is what it sounds like. These are almost all of the books on my physical TBR. Now on the shelves you will see some books that I haven't read yet but it's just because they're not at the very top of my physical TBR but I know when I look at the shelves which books I've read and which books I haven't read so it's fine for me to put them on there and I will eventually get to them but these are kind of the ones that are more like at the top of my TBR but yeah basically all of these books are the books that I look at that you can see on an upcoming TBR or that I will reach for at any moment because I make a TBR but then I reach for a lot of the books that I haven't read yet when I think about them so this shelf is basically just that also yes it is a mess kind of on that same subject is this first little uh, skinny billy shelf basically I just put all of my book of the month books here because I like to keep them all together for the most part there's some scattered in different places I think maybe like one or two down here these are more like I should probably you know what let's just we're gonna move this chair we're gonna move it So down here was just some overflow. Okay, not you guys seeing my pants. Didn't think that through. Down here is just some overflow though. These are also books that are at the top of my physical TBR, but there wasn't like room to put them on the physical TBR shelf, so they're right here. These three books are books that I've annotated for a giveaway, but I just have to annotate Addicted to You. So uh, as soon as I finish Addicted to You, these will be sent out. So those of you who won that giveaway, don't worry. I have not forgot about you. I just have to read Addicted to You. This is the first shelf. So we're going to start with what's up here. So up here, these are all of my sports romances. Uh, you'll see some probably like scattered around because sometimes uh, I like, like to keep authors together and stuff. Right here, I have all of my L. Kennedy books. These are all hockey romances. And then so I put all of my other hockey romances that I have right here. And then these are a basketball romance series. And then these are just, I think all of these are football, except for this. I think that's, uh, they're boxers. Love this shelf because basically what I try to do is just kind of have a section for everything. So every shelf has a reasoning behind it. So this is my sports romance shelf. And down here, these are all of my dark romances. This somehow perfectly all of this fit. I don't know how all of this fit right here. I was a little scared for a second, but it fit somehow. So yeah, we just have like oh, all of my dark romances, uh, all of the series. I keep all of the authors together, try to keep all of Sophie Lark together. And then we have those two books. Then over here, this is the shelf. These were just kind of like some overflow of romances because I have another romance shelf too but these are like some of my favorites from the other ones that I separated so of course we have a million kisses in your lifetime and bittersweet memories um darling venom and then right here I wanted to start a different stack but there's not a lot that I haven't read yet basically this stack right here are like summer beach reads and I want to make like its own little like stack or shelf or whatever for just like those where it's like books that you read on the beach very beachy vibe I want to make a shelf like that but one I I don't know if a lot of them were YA so they didn't go right here I thought I had a lot more than this but I do want to eventually just have like its own little like stack over here or something but that's the end of that shelf. So down here, this is the last shelf for this one and this is the YA shelf. So for the most part, there's another little YA shelf over on the other side. This is all of my YA romance right here. It stops right here. So these are all of my YA romance books. I think this is why there's not as many on the uh, little like beach read stack is because a lot of them are YA because I love to read YA books in the summer. I don't know why. They're just such a vibe. So yeah, all of these are my YA 
romances and then these are just some YA series that I have and then those over there are just some YA like fictional just literary fiction books. That's it for all of these shelves over here. We're now going to pivot. We have the first little uh, skinny Billy shelf. So up here I put all of my holiday themed books right here because this shelf is kind of like the themed shelf you'll see. Um, so I put all of my Christmassy books up here and then these two shelves are all of just my literary fiction books so I kept all of my Ellen Hildebrand right here I got these two new ones for when I'm about to go to the beach in April and then just have some of these and then down here these are some of my hardback literary fictions and then of course we have a little life kept Sally Rooney together and then honestly these are like some of my not so favorite literary fiction so I just put them all right here and then these two shelves are all of my thriller adult thrillers so I try to keep with the like uh kind of dark spines and then I had just some white ones and red ones that I put together and so because I thought these looked good and then I just have all of the like colorful covers and then all the way down there you see all the way down here right there those are just my YA thrillers so good girl's guide to murder series and then just some other little miscellaneous YA thrillers that we have over there that's it for that little skinny shelf so First and foremost, we have this shelf. First of all, this is where all my Colin Hoover books live at the very top of that shelf. And then right here, I mean, of course, I just had to have Addicted Callaway have its own shelf. And it's like this right now because I do... <sighs> I do want to read the Like Us series, so if I ever do decide to read the Like Us series, tell me down below if I should, I will also have it on this shelf. This is one of my favorite little sub shelves is what I'm calling it because these are just like some of my favorite authors. This one and this one below it, these two shelves are like genuinely some of my favorite authors, some of my favorite books sit on these two shelves, which makes me love staring at them. So first of all, we have the absolute beloved series. I'm actually about to get Redeeming Six in the mail today that we can add on to here. And I'm so, I love this series. This is the Boys of Toman series. Absolutely love it. But we have Chloe Walsh's Boys of Toman series. That's a five, no, six star series for me. Absolutely love this. We have all of my Lucy score books that I have right here, minus another copy of By a Threat. And then over here, these are all of my Abby Jimenez books. Love her. Cannot wait for her new release that's coming out in April. And then we have all three of my Emily Henry books. Also cannot wait for her release in April. I'm so excited, except it's gonna be a hardcover. What is going on? This is another one of my favorite shelves. Actually, you know what? It's really these like three and the one below it, but I just love the way that these two shelves look, the way I've organized them. Um, of course we have my book club candle, but this is, when I had the color coordinated shelves, one of the things that bothered me the absolute most was how none of my authors were together. And so I finally got to put all my authors together and it just makes me so happy when I see it. These shelves, we have all of my Anna Hong books, uh, the Twisted series, and this is the only book in the, I don't know what this series is called. Is it? I don't know. Uh, Kings of Sin. Kings of Sin series. Then we have my Lauren Asher book. So we have the whole entire Dirty Air series, the whole entire Dreamland Billionaire series. Cannot wait for her new series that she's coming out with. I will read anything that she writes, even her grocery list. So Lauren Asher, if you want to send that over, that's cool with me. Um, and then this is another one where I just kind of try to keep all the authors together. So we have my two Mia Sheridan books, two Allie Hazelwood books. Cannot wait for love theoretically. Oh my gosh. My Devney Perry books. I need to get the other books in the series. My two Amy Lee books and then I just put this random N.S. Perkins book because <laughs> it was just neat. I need another book. So down here we have another one where these are just like all of the authors together. So we have all of my Mariana Zapata books right here. These are all of my Tessa Bailey books and then we have just like I have two K.A. Tucker books, my Ellen, my Helen Huang books, and then all of my Christina Lauren books down here. And then honestly down here this shelf down here is just a bunch of different romance books. I have all of my hardcover ones, just all of my like random ones. Honestly, these are all of the romance books that aren't my favorite except for The Dead Romantics and Marriage for One. I really like those and I liked Bright Side. Um, but the rest of the, oh, and Seven Days in June and The Bodyguard and again, Bow Better. 
but the rest of those are my favorite. I'm like, oh, but not this one, not that one, not this one. Anyway, to my favorite shelf, which is my fantasy shelf. I'm literally so in love with how this came out. You guys actually don't understand. This is just where I'm gonna have all the covers that do this. So how all of these covers have a picture, like it makes a whole entire picture. All of those, that's the Harry Potter series and that's the City of Bones and Mortal Instruments series. But anyway, and then right here, this just has some of my series. So we have the Shadow Me series, then these two random, the Priory of the Orange Tree and Babel, and then we have the Shadow and Bone, and then the Six of Crows duology, and then we have all of my books by Holly Black because we have the Cruel Prince trilogy and then the Stolen Air that takes place like in the same universe but just follows different characters. Up here, one of my favorite shelves, this is... <laughs> I, when I told you guys that I have three different copies of Once Upon a Broken Heart, I was not kidding. This is the one that I did for the collab. This is the one that I already had, and then I ordered this one. My heart broke when I ordered these two special editions for Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Bowed Never After, and they were two different sizes. Literally, this one is so small, and so I wanted to organize them like this because literally these two copies are what inspired me to redo my bookshelves because I really wanted to display them, and I was like, you know what? I want to display a lot of my book covers thank these two for the new bookshelves and then we have two copies of the ballad of never after by stephanie garber and then we just have like a bunch of my other uh fantasy series right here and then we have these two top shelves so the top shelf is just my akatar shelf we have you know just the paperbacks and then these are the like og original covers that i got for christmas that are absolutely sacred to me so love those right here we have this is like basically my throne of glass shelf because i have the um original i don't know if these were the original covers but the covers that have been out and then these are the brand new covers and then i just have my two crescent city books and that's the bookshelves, everybody. These are the new bookshelves that we're working with for I don't know how long. I literally, in a year, the amount of times that I upload a new bookshelf tour, reorganize my bookshelf, doing this with my bookshelf. Like, it's, it's just like, I'm never satisfied because I feel like that's a uh, universal experience as a reader with your bookshelves. Like, they're very, very near and dear to your heart. So, they're never, you always want them to be even better especially when you start adding more books you're like wait <laughs> gotta move some stuff around but thank you so much for watching today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys like how the bookshelves look let me know down below the last time that i did this and made them color coordinated a lot of people uh didn't like it because you know series weren't together authors weren't together and now that they're all together let me know how you guys feel and i won't be scared to check the comments this time on a real note i love and appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys when i see ya peace